All right, we're freaking live again. I guess this is the first video of 2021. It's 2021 now. No, 2022. Yeah, tw uh, sorry. It's 2022 now. Yay, whoop de doo So we're at this again. Um, went grocery shopping today. Tonight, we're going to do a Wellington. I'm a, literally my first time making a Wellington, and I got stuff to get it or to make it. Luckily, Save a Lot did have pie crust. So I'm going to use pie crust. So we're going to, in this Wellington, we got government cheese. Hi, X Elf, Elf 30. How are you doing? Welcome to uh, Cooking Story with Jeff Jefferson. There's plenty of other videos. You know, if you want to go and take a stab at those later, more welcome to go look at. Uh, oh, Swan! Ha ha! Elf thirty. That that's yeah, that's funny. Hi, Swan. But yeah, okay. So tonight, you know what? I don't care if you look at the old videos. But anyways, we're going to put bacon, chicken, and a beef steak in this Wellington. I know I just kind of blew you off like you weren't that important. No, you are important. You're So... Might as well get started. Oh, uh, mom's in the hospital. She's fine. She's okay. One of her meds caused her to have a lot allergic reaction, and she found out she also has ammonia. She's so she sends her love and greetings to each and every one of you people. But other than that, she's doing all right. So let's get this going. Oh, yeah. So I took Mo's tracksuit off. <clears throat> I mean, it does look good on him, but being halfway on doesn't look cool. Yeah, I hope Mom gets well soon, or gets well soon, too. Thank you. I'll tell her that. But um, I actually do have a plan for that tracksuit. I think I can get away with it if I cut the bottom part off and then there's an old beanie. If I can sew that, like a one side of that beanie to both ha halves, should might fit. And then I won't have to spend more to get Mo taken care of. <coughs> oh, I did get oil today. So let's have some fun refilling this. Get our trusted funnel. Um, if you don't have a funnel, you can roll up a piece of paper, use it. I've never really tested it with oil, doing oil that through a piece of paper funnel, but you can do be the first person. Oh yeah, and as I spill on the burner, just a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. fuck. Yeah. 
Looks like we're just gonna run that hot water for a bit. So I still need to do a bunch of dishes. So we'll not use that burner. We'll use this one over here. Considering using a small cast iron to cook some of this up enough first to where it bakes, it'll fully cook it all. And before I do the dishes, I gotta wash the cow. So tom that's tomorrow's adventure is laundry, a bunch of laundry. <coughs> With this son of the gun, what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it. We're gonna keep splitting it and make it thin. So that way it can pan out. So, first we're going to do, well, just a slice down the middle. So I'm going to open all of this. You're just pretty much carving in a way. So, you just kind of, all that thickness you will find will be part of the meat, the way it is. Um, so, I'll do like that, and then right here, because there's a thick part, I mean, want it to be flat, mostly flat, because it's all going to be wrapped up. This is not, like, the exact way to do all this, but it's a good way to get it done. So we want fairly flat. So that means there we go. Open that up. There we go. Should have seen it swan earlier when I was putting up groceries. I was playing with meat. That's fairly. See, I want to get some of this. And it's actually good to have like some knife marks in between it because it'll cook up a little bit faster. Like these little flavor pockets. Yeah. So we want it like fairly big enough to where it only holds this shape. <coughs> but it'll be easy to wrap. Now, we are going to, oh, I want 375 to bake, um, let's open up our pie, okay, so there's two rolls, we're going to get the pie out, I got two of these actually because I'm going to make this with one and then what I'm going to do is make pot pies with the rest and do it like a better version of shepherd's pie one night. Get our oil. Because I'm going to 
pan to be oiled up a little. Um, so we'll just leave that there. Oh, I need butter. Alright, guys, give me a second. I gotta melt some butter for to brush on top. We'll use this. Say 25 seconds. Let's see what 25 does. All right, so I'm going to pretty much use spices. And uh, I got the basic three. So the way we're going to do this is... First, let's move some stuff off the table counter. 35 seconds. Um, don't need that. I need you to be on. I'm not going to say what that kind of looks like. Say it. I mean, it's 18 and over for this channel, so I'm not sure what that you're referring to. The chicken? Come on, someone say it. You know you want to. All right, so that's good. No, team. Set that back there. Like, again, this is my first time attempting a Wellington, and I think it's going to be okay. So, we're going to season one side. We got garlic powder, a bit of paprika. You need pepper. So, I need to spread out the what you call it, the pile over there. So, I can roll over here. I don't exactly know how big this is. Okay, so it's fairly big. That's great. I mainly need to do both. No, I think I can get away with this. Yeah, I can get away with it.
The chicken looks like a... Yeah. Uh-huh. Like I said, we're just kind of like lightly cooking so that the oven will take care of the rest. And that way it's still easy to kind of cook or uh, still easy to roll. So we're going to do that, and then, oh, well, this is clean, so I can do it, put that there, put that to the side, because you're, the bacon, the bacon's going to go on the outside, and it's falling apart, right? whatever. But yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. So for this the same seasoning. Nothing too fancy. Except on this, there's going to be Italian seasoning. Oh, Italian seasoning and minced onion. Well, no, we're going to do onion in between layers, minced onion. And that's all you need right there. Again, we're going to do one side. I should just bake it as is, but... I think I'm just going to sear in this. All right, so we got home style original and applewood thick cut. The hell? There we go. Not going to take all of it, just half of one or two, I mean, half of each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this about going down. Okay, that was too spicy. Oh, it was a really super, okay. Like a really thin ass cut. My tape was in. And on top of the tape. And that's too much. So we're going to kind of do half of this, like I said, and then half of the uh, other kind. Thank <laughs> you. 
and then uh, put that back in there. So about right there. And we're just gonna weave. We're gonna do a good old weave. We're gonna put these long ways. Then you just tuck it the ends. Um, but there we go. Like, I'm not, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So, y'all are on your own on this, so, yeah. Your fault. <laughs> not really. I'm sure this is going to turn out decent. Alright, the way I'm talking these ends is so, like, if it's on top of one, it's going under, and then of course gaps that we're going to have. I get. I mean, you kind of, kind of understand. I am going to bring the camera over here so you can see it. Right. And then, and then, all right, and then we'll be screwed up. We wash the hands. Alright, so that's done. Alright, so that's what it looks like. And I think I'm going to need the second one. Uh, I because this is Nowhere near big enough to get it to roll the way I want it, the way I need it. <clears throat> but that's okay. I can go get more if I need to. Alright, so. We're bringing this down. Try not to tear it. Alright, we'll bring this up. I got a problem with this back there. And then we'll just kind of hold that. We'll have that. And we'll just position the bacon in the middle. So that that's that's fairly decent. Um put this back in here, sit that there. Let me wash hands. Because now I need to cut up some cheese. I need to make some good old sliced cheese. Well, okay. Screw that up. Ah. 
Hi, small. You don't want them too thick. It's thin enough. And you're going to place some on the, uh, just a few slices on the bacon. Get that out. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do layering. And uh, so we're going to put our chicken on the top of this. Oh. First, I'm going to put some of that minced onion. And we're going to put this on here like that. All right. And then do some more onion. Then we're going to do cheese and then steak. Three seventy five, the oven is on. Um, we're just gonna periodically check on it. Turn the oven light on. So, okay. There you go. Have a piece of cheese. And then one more slice. Wow. This is gonna be cheesy. All right, now we're done with that. We're gonna put the steak right on top, just like that. And then we're just gonna roll, kind of roll it. And yeah, okay. This is not gonna work out great. All right. I can fix it. So we're gonna we're cutting this steaks in the strips. Tear them apart. So, this, oh my god, a Wellington. First time, and I know it's, it's not working well. How do you fancy people do this? Yeah, I think I'm fairly fucked it up. Uh, I don't think. I 
that's not how it's supposed to look. Oh, oh it doesn't show up. There we go. Ah, uh, yay. All right. And there's yeah. uh, I screwed this up. I don't care. You know what? There. That's our really thing. It screwed up. First attempt. Um, take some of this dough and smash it in places. Oh my god, this is so. Yep. Oh. This is horrible, but I love it. Let me see if I can fix this bag. Uh, I'll wait down. All right, so, yeah. Um, that went well. Let's, uh, not do that again. Maybe next year. I think I'm just going to review. I think I fucked it up. Yeah, alright. Whatever. It's something. So it looks like what I'm going to do is off camera play with it. I think uh, tomorrow I am going to go get another pie crust. And we're just gonna make it better. I know one thing, we're not gonna put as much as that in there. Definitely. That would work if I got three pies, or if I had like two pie crusts. But, but what I'm trying to say is if I had three circular ones, that would probably work better. So, we're going to eat it though. Let's not go up there. There we go. But yeah, tomorrow I'll just get some pie crust, more pie crust. And uh, I forgot to brush it. You know what? There. 
brush and butter. Not even properly brushed it. I just poured it on there. Fuck it. The fuck you move. So yeah. Maybe next time not cook the steak or the chicken, but it all cook. Um cool. Well, see, I used two. <coughs> so I'm thinking three. We're going to need, because I grabbed the other one. And, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. You just, you saw how that worked out. That, that worked out fucking awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna see about three next time. Come here, Mo. Come here, buddy. Oh. Okay, that's what I was thinking when I was cutting up the steak. Cut it up in strips next time. But uh, next time it'll be good. Say hi, Mo. Say hi, buddy. Hi. You want down? All right. Fuck off then. <laughs> yeah, there's your little buddy. I believe Adam shared a got Gordon Ramsay's video on him, Beef Wellington. I kind of want to punch the shit out of Gordon Ramsay now. Because I like how the video was so simple, easy, and apparently it's not. I think there was too much shit going on. And that, yeah. Definitely either get pre made sliced cheese or thinking about shredded cheese. So, so that's tomorrow's plan. Well, do laundry, go to save a lot, get a few more, another roll of that. Because there's one in the freezer. <coughs> get one or two more rolls of that pie crust. How much is on? Yes, shredded cheese will make that better. Or, I mean, you could get provolone, I guess, sliced. Already sliced. Oh, I have 1172. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I can afford to get six or so two more boxes of pie crust. Yay, for two liters. I'll probably get four, like three two liters and then a Hawaiian punch jug. Because I need a jug for tea. So, yeah. Um. Oh. So, one of the titty bear, somewhat done, sewn together. 
course, I'm sewing it, then I'm gonna cut the excess fabric off around. But uh, yeah. If you're if you if those of you that won the contest, I need to make another post. It's gonna be a little bit late for your teddy bears. Thanks to Swan, I gotta make another one. So there's six now. Which I don't mind doing. Um I need more thread, that's what it's coming down to. So that'll be a thing next month to get is a lot of thread. Like my sewing machine is doing okay, it's just, a pain. Um, but I'm also doing it by hand. Let me go get the uh, one that's almost done. I can show you because I sold it in certain areas, like overall in certain areas, so that it will stay all together. And then, uh, yeah, so I have half the middle finger done, some of that done, that, that top, that top, one, the outer circular for the other hand. And then the marks going <coughs> into the center is, uh, that's just there to know that there's going to be some indications, which I'm going to stuff that thumbs up with the other hand. I'm going to stuff it first, then make like indications. But yeah. So after I stuff it, that's when it'll take a real shape. And then after I stuff and close close it, um, then I'll add the tits. I make them separate and sew them in. I bet this is gonna turn out pretty good, even though it's a fucking blowout. For a first time making beef Wellington, or a Wellington, I should say, first time, it's, you know, don't seem that horribly bad. I got a freehand sew parts of up here again, because it's, like, when I separate the fabric, I can see some of the, like, up here is all sewing machine. And it just kept, thread up top kept breaking a lot. And then I would have to go back and then redo it. And I, that top part is before I figured out with the two settings, the right way to have them. Because now it's in a straight line. If the line, the thread does break, but not as often as it was at first. But here's the, you can tell where it got jammed up. And then going back, unjamming, jamming it up, taking all of that thread mess, isolate it. Well, it's gene material. Even if I have to sew each one by hand, because, you know, I sold Jared's. That's how Jared, how his was done. 
And plus, I made a few mathematical errors on his. I made it a little bit smaller than I should have. Getting that the middle finger out of that to poke out. I have to turn it inside out or right side out. Oh my God, that was a pain in the ass. And it, the way I'm doing these is I'm sewing them all around except for the crotch. So around here, I'm not sewing this whole area so I can just turn it inside out. I'm not to do a shorter from here to over here. <clears throat> um, because it's too late, can't do the sides, they're both sewn. And then get rid of these extras or just leave them. I think I'll just leave that extra strings. Be better. I might cut them a little bit shorter. But I mean, some some of it's machine, some of it's sewn by hand. Yeah. Some fun shit. Okay, so all right. I was looking at the pattern, making sure where a leg was. Like I drew the basic big pattern and then I just went back before I started sewing, kind of fix it up to where I need it. Of course, Jared's is pecker. I mean, Perky, Perky the bear, the tit bear. And then this one, I'm not sure what it's going to be. I think nipples. I think this one's nipples. So let me write that on somewhere. Write it on the head. Um, before I stuff it, I will put on eyes and whatnot. I E P L E S. <coughs> so yeah, nipples. There's a whole backstory for nipples. Nipples likes is what nipples loves it when you flick her nipples. Since Perky likes, which is Jared's, and Perky's likes is to show off its Perky tits. And yes, they do all come with big tits. I could put, like, since you're a prego salon, I could put, like, a small bag of water, one-time use, coming out of the nipples, water. Hey, Barry, what's up? So, we tried to make a beef Wellington with, like, a steak. Um, Add you as a mod. Yeah, that's one. Elf 30. So, there's sides that blew out rolling it. I used two pie crusts. So, we are going to revisit this another night. Redeem myself of making a Wellington. There's a good amount of dough covering 90%. Just 10% of it is like the bottom and the back or on um, one side. Yeah, there you go, Barry. Haha. <laughs> Just blame me. <coughs> so 
So yeah, Wellington, I screwed up, but it's bacon. We're gonna eat it. We're gonna see how it works. Oh yeah. I've been meaning to do that, Barry. Make you a mod on here. Considering Marais is an admin on the group Facebook group page for this crap. I don't know, I might before I go to bed go on YouTube. <coughs> Don't tell Marissa. Actually tell tell her I know you're going to just tell her I screwed it up. It has a beef steak, some chicken, cheese. But yeah, be, before I go to or when I go to lay down tonight, I'll look up Wellington. Yay. Four or five more days. <coughs> like, literally. You can ask Juan. It, it, it's not looking good on this Wellington. Um, no, that's where, I, yeah, all right, so I use this beef steak, that's what, see, that's where I went wrong, everything okay with, uh, Marissa? Yeah, I'm sure it is one. No, I yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still edible. I mean it's what I should have done with the steak, I shouldn't have cooked cooked it. Should have left it raw. Well, hopefully it's just the flu or a cold. Hopefully that she doesn't have COVID. And if she does, tell her uh, to use lime. Use a little salt and lime. Ah. <coughs> but uh, hopefully everything is okay with Marissa. Um, let's see. But yeah. I think for the first time I knew something was going to fuck up with this Wellington. But at least it's on camera. Oh, I'm not sure what. Oh. I know what we can talk about. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. Besides what I already said, like uh, going and get more pie crust and uh, doing laundry. T tomorrow, a big shipment comes in. My mom's presents that I got her for Christmas is coming in tomorrow. Um... My older sister, what I got her. So I got to take this tag off this both these bags, and I'm going to reuse these bags. Tomorrow, I'm also, what's coming in is wood glue, drill bits, 
that's made for wood, uh, um, wood, wood, aluminum, plastic, and alloy. And I'm getting wood screws coming in tomorrow and uh, screws with drywall anchors because I've got to hang these freaking mirrors. So, but tomorrow I'm going to have a big mess going on in the living room. I'm going to tear down my entertainment center, which is like one of those. It's a bookshelf. Like, it's a basic Walmart bookshelf. And it comes in. It's like two pieces. So I'm going to put wood glue. I'm going to have like one half over here, one half over here. And wood glue them together. But that stick. Um, use. Well, she needed measuring cups, so she said for Christmas you could get her, I could get her measuring cups. Because whenever her surgery does happen, her bariatric surgery, she's, like, not going to be, even after she, um, she's going to be, after her bariatric surgery and recovers from it, she's going to be on, like, very small, tiny portions. But right now, she's in the hospital getting over ammonia. And uh, there's a small, like, one of her medications is allergic reaction. Yeah, I got my older sister and her husband, like, it's a gift set. Of hot chocolate and spoons, mint shape kind. I think they're mint, actual mint spoons, but I don't know. No, she didn't. No, mom's okay. She's having a allergic reaction to one of her medications, and then she also found out she has pneumonia. <coughs> they did do a test though for that, but uh. I got my stepdad, he's in New York. I got him a pla this plaque thing that has like a, I don't remember what number Super Bowl, but it has a picture of one of the guys. I think the, it's the quarterback of the New York Giants, and it has like next to that the Super Bowl, I guess, from whenever that happened. I don't get much in the sports. Of course, I don't, I don't even know. When I do watch NFL, it's usually the Super Bowl. I did watch the Thanksgiving one. Still disappointed the Cowboys lost. I mean, I don't give a shit wherever they, like, how well they're doing. I just wanted to watch Thanksgiving Cowboys special. I know you're pretty, I'm disappointed, Barry, that your team did not win. No, Barry has a thing. Me and Barry has a thing with the Cowboys. They do win, and they do. I don't even know if they're going to make the playoffs for the Super Bowl. But if they did make it to the Super Bowl this year, or, well, this season, and if they won, I can't talk shit about the Cowboys for a whole season. Well, yeah, they've been like that for... How long, Barry? Forever. Got to wait to get it, but it's very useful. 
Oh, they are they're in the playoffs right on. Okay. I'm not sure if I put, should be intrigued or scared about that swan. Is it a hooker? Is it a blow up doll? I mean, oh my God, Barry. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think I'm going to go look at this. Abomination. Oh, yeah. Cheese is melting everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's great. We're definitely going to revisit this Wellington idea. I mean, it could be, per se, Swan. No, it's for something special. You love Rose? Is it for my motorcycle? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I can't, I knew, I knew I should have like thought about getting a bigger size of the tracksuit. Like it. That's a bummer. I was so excited when I came in today. And then I was disappointed when I took it out of the package, took it out of the second package. Looked at my looked at what's in my hands. All right, we'll try it. Doesn't fit. Halfway. Halfway it fits comfortable. Just don't button it. You know what? Come here. Come here, Ma. Come here, Bubby. Yeah. We're going to put this halfway back on you. And we're going to show it off. But, I mean, you can, like, totally tell how awesome it would look if it, if it was, like, a better a better size. Like, look at that. I mean, I can button it. It's just doesn't look like he can move pretty decent. Does he like toys? Now, I know it's definitely for Mo. Yes, he likes toys. He has two toys now. Like, look at that. That's so cute. I can't believe you people are turning me into that kind of people. All right, here, let me unbutton it. I'll take it off here. So, yeah. I think I might mend that back. I don't know. I might just buy a whole other one. Because the back stretched out. Oh my God. Hold on, Swan. So this is what I got him a few months ago. Then this month I got him this. He goes nuts over that. 
Um, so next month, I got to figure out and with lookup thread, sewing thread, and do all that, get that, some parts, which actually what I'm getting more next month is a soldering gun. Because the wire harness is done and complete-ish for, well, the, both of those have squeakies in it. No, Mo's not allowed to have squeaky toys because his other two's, the only other two toys he has has squeakies, of course. Squeakies are okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting a soldering gun. And uh, because some of the wires came out of the holsters for the uh, wiring harness that I had to make for turn signals. So I'm going to solder them together, refix it. But it's good anyways because I need to put the lights on. Run the wires because there's. Oh, I'm getting a rear fender tomorrow, too. Yeah, he loves squeaky toys. I don't mind it. I don't care. But it also has like some kind of like paper or plastic paper ish in it. Along with the squeaky toy. So, um, I am going to take this out for a few minutes. Kind of check on it. See if I can contain this freak. Uh, contain the uh, cheese. That's the word cheese. Move it back. Kind of make a, yeah. This is really not looking monstrosity. This is not looking good. It's like a meat pie now, basically, without the pie dish. But yeah, that's how screwed up it looks. Of course, there's the side with the blown. Yeah. We're definitely going to revisit this whole bullshit at a later date. So, when I go pay rent, also, I got a cut lovely phone call. I go pay rent. I got to sign a new lease. And today I found out there was something in my mailbox. A permission slip from the U.S. Postal Office to uh, sign for a letter from Winterwood that needs my signature. Which, I bet you that's my new lease. <clears throat> but when I called today, like, she just called. I, let, I, like, put coffee on to make. And I just lit my freaking cigarette and then the office calls. And then she was like, when are you going to be able to come up here and do that? And I was like, well, I just woke up, so I don't know what I'm going to do today. And I said, probably when I go pay rent. <laughs> oh, okay, that sounds great. I wanted to be a dick. 
But it's winter wood. It's my complex. My apartment complex. So. All I know is somebody in general called me before I had a cup of coffee. Okay, this is bacon, chicken, and a steak. I think next time I'm just going to leave the bacon and strips. I'm not going to weave them. But next time what I am going to do... Ooh, I could do this with ground beef, just ground beef. Like do a roll. That would be cool. Yeah, and cheese, uh, government cheese. So I'm going to, I mean, I can do this cheese too. Less cheese what, next time, but. I actually kind of have it planned where because I think I a I screwed up with by not cutting the beef and chicken and strips the beef steak and uh, government cheese yes government yep government cheese good old government. So, yeah, I think next time I could do one, just, I, with this, it was so big, I had too much going on in it. So I believe next time I can get away with using one, just smaller. But see, that's the thing with me and cooking. I one person cooking for one person is like not the easiest thing for me to do two and up i mean that's pretty much and i'm i'm actually been getting a little bit better ish so But yeah, Barry, there's two bags. This is government raisins. And here's two more bags. So you get the cure, Barry. You get to make all kinds of cures. Loves Biden cheese. It's, I mean, it's government free cheese. I mean, they come in and they actually, a bunch of the stuff I have comes in senior boxes. Everybody else gets. And then they just, they take what they want and then like oatmeal, fruit, can of fruit mix, vegetarian vegetable soup, vegetable soup. And then uh, beans, pinto beans, low sodium spinach, peas, corn. They give me the rest. I mean, like in the senior box, you get a couple of things of meat. So they take that and give me the rest, which is usually the cheese, oatmeal, peanut butter. Like I have peanut butter. I could fund Marissa with peanut butter to fund peanut cookies. Like, oh my gosh. I love peanut butter, but god damn. Gubermint part. I mean, it's Velveeta. Might as well just, I should have just said it's Velveeta. Because that's what it is. It's Velveeta package, government's label. It comes in like a senior box berry. You get like oatmeal, 
one or two. You get like juices. You get good old fruit mix. Vegetarian. And you get like vine ripe tomato sauce, a couple of cans of those. You also get you get a whole lot loads of stuff. That's government. And you get peanut butter. The creamy. But yeah, I could like send all the peanut butter to Marissa and I bet you she could make like a good batch, like a really huge batch of peanut butter cookies. I even got sugar-free, semi-sweet style chips. They're like not sweet at all. Yeah, all dogs do. All dogs like peanut butter, so on. Um. I I even got gel gelatin bags. Still, like, like look at all that. Uh, like holy shit box. Most of that spaghetti was given to me. Like the mantinas, well. One, two, three, four, five, six. I bought, and there's like three remaining out of eight or nine boxes from government. The pick of Damon, he looks like Jay from Jane Tana Bob. We're going to make stuff for you after she gets back. That, that's fine, Barry. It's okay. You guys take your time. Oh. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry. I mean, there are dogs with the name of Damien. Um, I blame Barry. Let's blame Barry. <laughs> no, 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 it's not right. Yes, Marissa's health comes first. Oh, yeah, Barry, you and Marissa's titty bear will be a little bit late. Um, running out of thread, so might be able to make one, and then blame me. This is blame Jeff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I gotta get more thread next month. Finish them. Send them out. Almost, I guess. Well, yeah, this is just great. It almost done. The crack, crack, or uh, the pie crust is almost done. Still soft in areas, still on their baked. So, out of three pounds, and it is three pounds, or was, 
this is how much gummy bears I have left out of three pounds. Yeah, so it's a lot of things, Barry. Could be worse. I need to watch the insert of this. My little sister actually smokes too. Well, she vapes, but yeah. Hey, Mom. Hey, I'm sorry if I interrupted your stream. No, it's okay. I put you on speakerphone. I just found out <coughs> Stephen Johnson syndrome brought on a gabapet and Wellbutrin. And what they're going to do is when the sounds come up on the floor, they're going to start greeting me as a burn patient. Treat you. My skin is peeling off. Okay. So, I just wanted to let you know. Thank you, Mom. I hope your, your stream is going well. It is. Um, I'm in an hour, twenty, about 22, 23 minutes into it. Okay. But uh, you're, I put you on speakerphone so everybody does okay. hear. Oh, okay, Swan I'm says. Fever tonight. Go ahead. And I run in a fever tonight, and they hung an extra steroid and antibiotic, and I'm gonna try to get some sleep before they start that treatment. But the salve on my burn, on my rash. Okay. Okay. I love you, Joe. I love you. I probably won't talk to you tomorrow because I'll be in the middle of treatment. It's all right, Mom. Okay. Swan, Take care. I will. Hey, Swan says get well. And so Barry, Barry says it. that as well. Thank you. All right. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So, okay. So her, I guess her skin's peeling off and they're treating her like a burn patient. Definitely allergic reaction to one of her medications. So I'm gonna get something to drink. But yeah, I pinned your comment, Swan. Oh, I don't know what I was gonna do. So I've been playing uh, my new game, Days Gone. And uh, Days Gone's a pretty good game. Pretty fun. <clears throat> it's like end of the world, zombies. And there's like three total Kims, but I unlocked two so far. And then it's a pretty open world. Uh...
let's see. Zombies, there's three camps. Two are unlocked. It's a really huge open world. It reminds me of, like, Mad Max, but not in a desert. And kind of like that. You're on a motorcycle. Go around. Four camps, technically, if you want to count the one that you start out at. Kind of. She was allergic to latex. She got a huge, got huge bliss. Yeah. See, I'm not allergic to latex, but I've met people who, from like different levels of allergic reaction. Um, I mean, there are a lot of people. A lot of people that uh, are allergic to latex. Like this whole jar right here, I could literally take out my older sister if I choose to. Oh, that is so cool. Well, la di da. I think this is. Yeah. When she was working at Sanderson Farm Plant. Sanderson's Farm Plant. Okay. Well, that's kind of sucks. What? What did they? What were they like? What latex gloves? that she was using or like, I'm not sure what Sanders' son's farm plan is. Well, I know it's a farm, but. What did your mom, what was your mom doing at the farm? Oh, chicken plant. Oh, okay, yeah, chicken plant. So I'm just going to let that cool a bit. But yeah, I went, to, I got up around one in the afternoon ish, 12. It was like 12 something, quarter to one. It's the chicken you buy. The gloves, gloves, they have like latex gloves. That's actually one of the things I've seen on YouTube, like videos for like processing plants, slaughterhouses. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, I get it now. She was doing things, Barry. She was tickling their pickles. Yeah, you're an hour behind me. I'm in the future. 
you know what, Barry? Future looks decent. I mean, Swan. Nary. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. There you go. Somebody named their kid Nary. Did you say Mary? No, it's Nary. With an it, it, it's it's like Mary but with an N instead of an M. There you go. Nary. Few years actually back, few years back, uh I worked with a guy. Well, I was all right, there I had this landlord. I just been back in Lexington or in Kentucky for three or four years. I wanna say about three and a half ish. And uh so I got in touch with this guy who has property in Lexington and other counties too. And he had a one bedroom. I moved in and then I also started working with him for a little bit, bit, but his main maintenance guy was named Zero. Zero. Z-I-R-L. Zero. And the story from what he told me was uh, I thought it was I was joking because I asked him I go what did your mom want a girl and she named you Zero because and he I was joking when I said that and uh, that's exactly what he goes yeah exactly what my what my mom told me it's like well shit his mom wanted a girl so bad. That when she was pregnant with him, out of spite in a way, to remind him that she wanted a girl, Zero. (coughs) 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 Well, I'm pretty sure your mom would like to joke. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's falls on the list of unusual weird names to hear. And a whole new, you know, used for the letter Z. Here, I'm going to type it in. Well, all right, Z I R L. T R I A L. No, T R I L. Yeah. That's literally his name. Have a hard time still. Yeah. I haven't lost a parent, but I've lost someone who was like a parent to me. I mean, it does, it doesn't, at first it doesn't get easy. It still hurts. Even a few months, maybe a year after. But uh, you just do your best. Take it one day at a time. After with me and losing someone, I would say I'm still in like a year, a year, maybe a, like one year and a month. Then it just kind of gets easy for me because I just go back to like, I mean, even after six months after dealing with a loss, 
it still hurts, but it gets a little bit easier in a way. Me and Def, we we do go together, but we don't go together. Meaning as in I can, when it happened today, if it happens today with somebody I love in my family, definitely does not go well. Um, but it goes well enough to get through it, the heavy part, which hits. But then, that, you know, just, we have an understanding. Well, I think me and the good old Grim has. But then like after, I don't know, about a month or two, it just slowly eased down. Yeah, something like that, Swan. I mean, wait. The understanding me and Def has is that it's if I'm next, fuck it. I don't see the point of fighting. But when it happens to someone I love, yeah, I just don't really do deaths. I don't do funerals pretty well. I mean, I'm like, at funerals, like there's, we all cry. There's times where we stop, have a few minutes, and then we'll go back to it. That's a that's a given. What um it's hard for me to do is at first walk up to the casket and see it. I'll break down and but when I get done with that, I'll go probably more likely I'll go up there again and then you know just I guess it's like my version of saying, you know, hey, this is reality, not what you want it to think. The last funeral I went to was Eunice Fugit. She was like a mother to me. That was that was hell. My first backwards way of funeral. Of course, during the service, I wanted to punch the, the preacher like more times than I cried. I mean, I still did my fair share of crying, but it's yeah. Yeah, I remember when you messaged me about your sister and your grandmother. <coughs> um, which is kind of what that was like last end of last year. You lost your sister because that was when there was still snow. Or no, was or was it for Fourth of July? It was either for around July or earlier than that. No. But I remember when you told me about it, which I hope everything was her husband able to like work everything out with the kids. How I've been meaning and forgetting majorly about to ask you. Like, how is her kids doing and, you know, all that. My stepdad, I care. My biological father, 
I do care about them, but I don't know. I'm just, sometimes I try to get his attention and talk to him. A lot of times it's, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but I grew up without him, so it's not. So there it's not. I want to and need to get back in more touch with him, but. When I talk to him on the phone, or, um, I have a hard time with talking to people on the phone. So we're going to cut into this. And then, yeah, I guess we'll try it. <clears throat> but it's it's totally blown. It's totally not working out with this. Overall, it's actually wow. Okay, so most of the part it is. It's just the sides or on the side. Oh my gosh. This is a monstrosity of a failure. But overall, it looks really good. There's what the other half looks like. Um, I can do that. Turn that off. So. We're going to try this. Now. See how horrible this turned out. I mean, it looks good. So I'm not sure how to tackle this. Just dive right on in somewhere. Like, definitely need to do pick either or. I think that's where I kind of went too much and overboard a bit. I think I should have just stuck with the chicken. I mean, it seasoned all right. Seasoned really good. It's um it's actually tastes good. It tastes like a meat pie. Yeah. So no to beef steak. And if I do a beef steak Wellington, um might as well strip it. I meant to make, say, make strips, but strip it's good.
It's good. I definitely see where I need more cheese. And just. I mean, it's bacon y, chicken y, beef ish. Get a little crust. Definitely redo this again. Yeah, I saw that on the news. Well, the, the news segment you sent me is one. And then, uh, yeah, basically he ran the red light. Hit a cop. Or a cop car. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. Six months later, wow. Does a family member have the kids, or does he have the kids, or? Basically, are the kids okay? I'm just saying, in order for me to get over someone like that, uh, I don't think I would get with somebody else after, you know, knowing I caused the wreck on accident. Swan has one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Well, considering or including the one in her belly. Because I remember one is 21. Her oldest, second oldest is sixteen, seventeen, and uh, what? Three year, three or four year old is the youngest so far. How many times did you say that after your last one? Or after the second one you had? I don't know. From all the preggles I know or met throughout my life, they all have always said the same thing. And next thing you know, they're popping out another one. 
coming back and saying the same thing. It's like when you go get drink or get drunk. You say it's the last one, but you know, next thing you know, there's like thirty other shots that you done took. <clears throat> I mean, this is actually pretty good, even though it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Definitely undersized the crust amount. So, for this big and this much, I would, uh, let's say I was making it the same way as this, I would definitely use three. And I would roll it like a Swiss roll. And yeah. But three could also do it with the stuff that I put in and just wrapping the whole thing around. But I see next time instead of making a weave or weave the bacon, just leave it strips. Do like country style applewood, country style applewood. Or, you know. So. I mean, it's nice, flaky. Not too bad. Sixteen and four, yeah. See, I was one out of three, right? No, two out of th three. But yeah, that's quite an age spread. Jeff, the women whisper. Yeah, okay. That'll happen never, Barry. Maybe I should um get. Have Marissa and Swan get in touch with you, the other, and they can, you know, talk about how you need to put a rain on it, Barry. Nothing says I love you other than putting a ring on a finger. And that is my Dr. Phil best guess. <clears throat> so we're gonna finish that later so we are going to do a makeup for what I was wanting to do the other day or last week and I couldn't Yeah, it can. You're right, Barry. Good doorbell charm. 
uncomfortableness, the uncomfortableness, the illness, the sleep, the sleep, sen what senses? Nope. Uh, I'm so done. Uh, oh, okay. Sleeplessness. You know, you say that now, Swan. Just like every other chick. See what I did there? No, do you want me to take, take it off? Come here. Yeah, you can't. No. We'll just put that over there. We'll just never happen. We'll just be like the government and say it never existed. Isn't that right? I'll get you a, a new one. Get you a better tracksuit. Yeah, over 30. High risk factor. I don't know. I didn't make a good point earlier when we were texting each other, which I was grocery shopping. The big gap in between texting you or back. I don't remember how it fucking went, but I mean, I said some, I know I said it could be worse. And then you said, uh, let's see, Swan said, hold on. I mean, it was kind of funny. Oh, oh, yeah. Because I asked your, now I remember, yeah, I asked you to send me some photos of Mo and to in Discord. And you went sent, and I went dent, bent, mint. <laughs> and then he said, go get bent, you first. I'm already pregnant, geez, what more do you want? And I said, you could be super prego, like have 18 instead of one. And she clearly did not say hell no. No, she did. That was fucking funny. Like in the grocery store, I read it. I didn't even respond to it. In and out. Yeah. I just seen what you last said. And yeah, it was funny. Oh. Uh... You want up here? Come here. Come on. Oh, there you go. Here's more mo. There's more mo for you guys. He smells the food. That's what he smells. I know you see it. You want it. You want it so bad, don't you? Yeah. Well, guess what? Guess what? You can't handle it. Uh, I'll cut you up some, okay? I'll cut you up some. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to cut some up and put on a plate or a bowl. Because i got to do a lot of dishes tomorrow. And put it in a bowl. And I'll give you some. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's 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 a good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. Yes. I still need to cut his trim his hair a little bit in areas. But it's not like not like what it was before. You went up here again? Yeah. I see you turning turn. 
Yeah. You want you want back up here? Yeah, I know you see it. I know, I know, but that's not yours. That's not for you. The other. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take some out of the other half. I'm gonna cut it up for you. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut it up for more. How's that sound? Does that sound good? Yeah. You want some, don't you? You want something so bad. Oh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You want it so bad, don't you? You know, you want it. You don't want it? Okay. You, you know what? You want it? Are you sure you want it? You want some for dinner? You want some beef and chicken? Some cheese and pasta or uh, pastry, though? Yes, you you want you want it. So there's bacon. There's bacon in it. Yeah, there's bacon. He does. He looks so happy. His hair was like so long everywhere. There's natting in his hair, so I didn't cut. I did like that was the first haircut was okay, let's just get the natting and then the second haircut, which was like a day or two later, that was like, okay, let's make this look halfway decent. We got took, got them nails taken care of. They were pretty long. Yeah, he does love me, don't you? I love you, Mo. Fine, just look at me with no emotion. Who's a boy? Who's a good boy? Is Mo a good boy? Okay. So he's just stand, he's like sitting underneath the table, just staring at me like, what the fuck, man? Like, I mean, just look at me like, what the fuck? Yeah. What? I love Mo. I really do. He's a good boy. I mean, again, you're not the ideal pit bull, but I'm glad that you hurt. you're here. Oh. Yeah. It's a boy. He's a good boy. I mean, even though you're gonna stay small, it's, it's I love you. I love you for your size. Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna talk about when Rose is done and rebuilt and I'm able to get back out on the road with it. So the next prop major project is tattoos, covers up, cover ups and getting a cover up finish. I need that finish and get more tattoos. Oh, I think I need a pit bull. Yeah. Do you think we need a pit bull mole? I love pit bulls. It's something about pit bulls. I've been around with them most of my life. Rubble is huge. I wish I had pictures of Malachi. He was a big, fat boy. He was, uh, let's see. Gotti Pit, Tiger Stripe. And he was actually the last of his line. Old as fuck. Like, I would need to literally set this laptop on the other side of the table, further back behind the laptop, just to get him in. He's, he's a big old lap dog. His, like, whole body, the size of his body was that wide his head was huge but what see if if he wasn't born with this 
he would have been classified as a big dog, but he was born with T-Rex arms and like somewhere along the lines it, it screwed up. It should he I mean poor buddy. <laughs> he looks so funny. He like naturally big head. Naturally big body, but just this instead of normal legs, it just like each leg were like that long. He had major T Rex. But he was Oh my God, he was a good boy. He he was a. If he he would know if he didn't like you or if he didn't want you around. Me or whoever. He was. He's a good watchdog. Let's put it that way. He was great. He's great with kids, but I'll be damned. Someone come up to him. Yeah. Well, Mo, yeah, he is getting bigger. I mean, you can tell when I first got him, he was being fed, but not fed like. I mean, he wasn't malnourished. Miss Elaine took well care of Mo, fed him, gave him water, and all of that. But. <laughs> Wait, what? Did he lose the snakes? No. Oh, to Swan. <laughs> yeah, see, I had a. Years ago, before Malachi, I had my very first pit bull was a pit mix. That was pretty. She was a pit boxer, red nose pit boxer. That, oh my god, that bitch. I swear to God, when I first met her, it was instant love. She crowded me to a bench outside of the house I was visiting, and yeah, petted her for a good while. She wrote a little growled at the people coming to the door, and then the guy I was going to see, visit at the time, he said, well, when you get done with your girlfriend, come and visit me. I was like, all right. Ten minutes later, or after ten minutes, I'm already inside. Pretty starts just barking, barking, going ape shit, nuts, barking. And, yeah, as soon as I went went to the door... Or the screen door, she stopped barking. I came out, petted her for about a good 20 minutes, and went back in. And uh, as soon as I went back in and hanged out, was hanging out with the, the dude at the time I was visiting, uh, we both literally said at the same time, only he said, it looks like you got a girlfriend. I said, it looks like I got a girlfriend. Just casually sat back down in his room in a chair and went like that and said it. I was, yeah. Same day I took her home. The one in, I wish I had a dog I had in, uh, Arizona. It was a blue pit shepherd, German shepherd mix, and it favored, the genes favored shepherd more. She was very short haired. <coughs> I named her Karma Jean. Because I want to name her Karma, but everybody was, like, still naming their Shepherd Karma and the, or Pitbull. So I was like, okay, to not ruin this for me, we'll just say Karma Jean. The day I got her, she was uh, 
I want to say uh, 12 months old, like a year old. <coughs> <coughs> and um, I had her, actually, it was a few days later, about two days, three days later from when I just got her. And then I was, I do a process. If I, like, if I got Mo straight out of the litter, I would, wouldn't name him off the bat. Definitely not on the first day. Mo fits him though. Um, what I this is how I name pets if I get them from like without a name is give it three days, including the first day. You give it three days. You see what they're kind of like, how spunky, how relaxed they are, or. You know, to see what their personality is, and then you just go one with that. But on the third day, I said I had this nice. Well, it was it wasn't nice. It was like a decent upholstery row office chair, and I just got set in that set had a karma jean set in the you know in the center. The chick I was with in Arizona, she was on the other side of the room facing me, but uh, I just kept looking at her, and I just go, karma, no response. I go, pretty, no response. I knew that wasn't going to work, and then I go, and I just thought about it. And then I was like, she might not respond to this, but it is like a, it's a two first name. So I just yelled out Karma Jean and she came straight over to me, locking her tail, looking at me like I, you know, um, then my, um, the chick I was with, she called her over to her like we was doing the last three days. Come here, you know, doing all that. And then I just said it again, and she would, like literally came running at me. So... That's how I name animals or prefer to you just wait three days and then see how what they are. Well, I mean, Barry, I'm older than her, I believe. And I want to say we're somewhat tied for 36. Or no, wait, that's Jared. Me and Jared have, are the same age, just months apart. I don't remember what Barry is. Yeah. Yeah, see. I don't remember when Swan's birthday is. But I, I know I'm older than her, if that still counts. And I was born in 85. Right in the middle of 1980s. The world just said, you know what? Fuck every one of y'all. I'm going to born get I'm going to make this happen. This little fucker's going to fuck shit up. October 9th. I want to lie and say I knew it was in October. Oh, yeah, we're over in Barry. About to be over the hill. Who do you think is already probably just two steps away from that?
I mean, but you know, I welcome it. <coughs> but yeah. I know, I tease her with that very. She is such a puppy. You know, the thing about swans, Barry, is they weigh eggs. So think about that. Swan was born in a little egg. I have so much shit. Barry, you want oatmeal? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Well, yeah, eight oh, unopened. You want like a jar or two, Barry? What about you, Swan? I know you love oatmeal. Yeah, don't you? Don't you, Swan? Just love that oatmeal. Like it's northern gold. They're quick oats. Like I have eight unopened. I didn't even realize that until I just counted it. <coughs> no, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I remember. I remember Swan is younger than me and that, she, yeah, no. Yeah. No. 82. You were born, yeah, before me, so you're older. Okay, you know what? Let's do it this way. Type in your age. I don't have time to do fucking retard math. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven unopened jars of peanut butter. Like, I need to give away, I need to do a giveaway to all, you know. I mean, I'm like, the, like, for instance, Mix fruit and half apricots, peeled half apricots, apricots, whatever. Halves. I'm not going to eat that. Yeah, let's let's all type the number of our age in to help jet math skills. Well, I mean. Okay, so I was pushing 30 in Arizona. I don't remember if I was still 29 or 30. I think I was, uh, but anyways, let's say I was 30. But I turned 30 in Arizona. Yeah, no, I was already 30 because I was 29 when I went to Arizona and I wanted to... No. But any, all right, well, anyways, when I was 30, um, I dated in Arizona a chick that was 42. So, yeah, you want to talk about. See, look, y'all are older than me. So, that's kind of, there's an R word. I'm pretty sure that will make YouTube do a stop to this, and I can't say it. I know Swan knows this certain type of R word. Barry doesn't. 
but he might. I can't use it, but I want to. Ah, oh, ha, 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 aren't you funny? I thought both of y'all. See, I, I just completely forgot. I thought Swan was younger than me. I thought Barry was younger than me. Yeah. It's kind of messed up. I don't know. I'm not sure how to process this. Um, yeah, I feel young now. When was I 36 years ago? I'm 36. Yeah, that was a big fucking, that was like, wow. I mean, I was pretty much 10 years younger than the chick I'm dating. It's a little bit weird to process. Well, yeah, 39. See, I thought you were in your at least mid-30s. Early to mid-30s, Swan. I mean, hell, Swan's now the oldest. Yeah, I know. And to be fairy on that, or to be fair, Barry, on that comment is when I first met Swan about a year and a few months ago, um, when she told me that she had a 21-year-old, I was like, yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't say it, but yeah, I was like, yeah. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I thought you were a whole lot older than than you first portrayed to be. But I knew I knew you were in your thirties. That's a basic edge of McKitty guess. What I remember, you were in your thirties. course I still remember staying up most of the nights and all night when you were working with you were making sure that coca-cola plant was safe yeah you do you got that baby face one See, that's the thing about food bar, though. Whenever I did meet new people years and years and years ago and whatever, I don't really look at their profile picture at first. Because you're really... Because food bar is meant to be reading what e each other say. Like you say a comment and someone live replies to it. And then maybe I might go look at your picture, but don't hold your breath. Swan is one of the few, very few people where 
I did go look later at a picture or two. Yeah, see? Mid-30s. No, no. Very. I could see that. Probably about 28, 27. And then, uh... Let's see. But her having... I knew she had a 21-year-old. And, uh, so it kind of, I knew, I knew for, because when I pop up Swan into my head, or when she does what I think of, you know, like age-wise, is, first thing is, she has a 21-year-old. So she's still wearing the 30s, and then that's where it goes. <laughs> I mean, I'm 36, and, like, I look like in my 20s. Like, for real. I, I have a really heavy baby face. Like, if I had pictures of my biological dad, of him my age, next to me, you would swear up and down. It's like it's the same. It's me in the photo. So that's a major factor in the, having a baby face. Is I'm really a spitting image of my dad, which I actually kind of like it. Wait, well, I didn't have to work till my mom passed. I had jobs, but not many before. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, fuck. I need to kind of like. This is my scarf from winter, but I kind of needed, I need to like take the mustache down just a hair because that's not good. Like I can't, I just got to trim the mustache. Oh, you should see my Uncle Ted. Like, he's the youngest. Let's see, there's my mom. I want to say Doug, Uncle Doug, Uncle Scott, and I know Ted's a baby. Uncle Ted, he's, I would say, in his 50s now. And my Uncle Ted looks really fucking good. For his age. Like he really fucking does. And you know what's fucked up? He can hold a full body tan. Better than I can. I burn everywhere else. But get a farmer's tan. Like no. I did dumb shit. Too, as I was younger, but I just took better care of it. Yeah, I did too. Well, well, well. I mean, truth be told, we all did dumb shit when we were kids. Even if you say you didn't do dumb shit, yeah, you did dumb shit. We all know. I mean. Some kids don't do a whole lot of dumb shit. Some do, um, a lot of, every one of us done dumb shit, just 
depends on how many mistakes you want to learn from. You know, I didn't, let's see, when I started smoking, I was in a group home, Bartown group home, Marble Red was the first time I inhaled a cigarette, and that was after, like, not inhaling for, like, three, four days, and then one of the kids kind of, like, said, well, if you're going to start smoking, because I started smoking because some of the staff members were saying, you know, saying it's all, I, I have this like thing where if you're going to bitch about something, I'm going to at least maybe try to figure, you know, like something. So, or, you know, sometimes like if you're saying, oh, this is so hard to do or whatever. So I got to make a point and show you it's not, Well, I was 19, 18, 19, I want to say 19. Um, pretty much when I started smoking, the kid noticed that for about three or four days that I wasn't in hell, and so he pinned me against that siding outside of the group home, and he was like, yeah, you're going to pull out a marble out of his pocket, and he goes, you're going to smoke one of these. And you're gonna inhale it. And he goes, if you don't, if you don't inhale, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought I could start smoking and then show how easy it could be to quit. I'm 36. Well, I will guarantee you I smoke a hell of a lot more than I did. And I smoked a lot back then. But yeah. I don't know what the was. Doing that. It's dumb shit. Okay. Hitting, we all, well, having a choice of hitting the front end of my friend's grandmother's car. Coming up the hill or hit the fence post, I chose the post. Yeah. I mean. At least, you know, the post, you know, that's, that's, that's nothing. I mean, it could have been bad, but. Yep, I'm still smoking berry at 36. That's why that was major to learn. Uh, yeah, pick and choose things you want to show that it's not hard to do. That was a major one. Plus, it also taught me is like you don't need to be a little cocky shit. <clears throat> the next time it happened again I was on the opposite side of the road and chose a large granite chunks by the railroad okay Oh, granite chunks. Oh, I bet it's one of them fucking weird hills where you, like, literally have to be on the peak in order to see who's coming. I bet it... Fourteen, fifteen. A little tour ride much. <laughs> but yeah, Swan, is it one of them weird hills where like at the peak, like if you're going up the hill this way, you cannot, 
it just sees like a sheer cliff. And then when you're at the peak, then you start to see, oh, there's a whole nother road down on the opposite side. And now I can see everything. Because, oh, yeah, we got plenty of those, Barry. Come to Kentucky. And I would not doubt. Oh, round it. Oh, man. Oh, my fucking God. I hate that, those. I'm pretty sure Barry has some of the, these roads in Texas. But God damn, around here, they're more common. It's like, yeah, we'll just make people go up and then shit, drop down. A lot of these roads here in Kentucky are from the Old West from like years and years when they first put, put roads. They were just paved over, and then the highway came in, and they put it somewhere, but a ton of back roads still remain in Kentucky. Well, each state, I mean, you just got to know where they are. most of them are. I mean, you can drive around a back road all day long, but, you know, you want to go back roads, go deep out in the hollers and the real back roads. They are paved, but yeah. No, Swan lives, let's just, she's in Mississippi. She's so she's in between me and you, Barry. That did not come out right. Yeah, uh, Fort Campbell. Mm, Fort Campbell, Hawkinsville. That's so there's a tornado seen on the news today when I woke up. And no, it was either t today or yesterday, but there's a tornado in Hawkinsville. I was in a group home and also there. There's a whole nother set of videos going on. You'll find that. I like how we're just having a discussion. I mean, we don't cook. We're having a discussion. There's like one video I want to make where sometime like I'm just not doing anything. Not cooking. I'm just talking to you guys. The hollers. Oh, my God. Where are they not is the question, Barry. Where are the haulers not? You got a lot. A lot of them in uh, never eat. What are Eastern Kentucky around Breathitt, Jackson County? Uh, fuck. You got some around Moorhead. You got you got them everywhere. Yeah, I know. Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Yeah, you know Fort Campbell's been around forever. Like literally. And, you know, I'm going to settle a myth that a lot of people think about Kentucky. At one point, yes, there was gold stored in Fort Knox, but there has not been any stored there for quite a while. And it's really like if you join the Army, guess where you're going? You're going to Fort Knox, more likely. That's what it is. It's a training grounds. I know. I do, too. I want... You know what, Swan? If y'all are going to come here to Kentucky, that's what we should go in. You know, your family and then me going in on like a three, four acre. You want to do that? If y'all are really going to come here... Yeah.
we could go in and what like maybe try to find two or three acres. I just want an acre of land. Bowling Green, that's a good place. It's decent. Um, it's not horrible. But Bowling Green, yeah. I've been there. Been the visit, been uh pretty much visit, whether it was from group home or I mean, I wasn't in a group home in Bowling, Count, Bowling Green, but I remember a lot of times dropping a kid off there. We would all, usually when it came to the time where we all got to go home for a few days or the weekend, what, uh, well, what happened is they get all the kids that are going, they had usually do one or two vans, depending on how many, usually it was one, and they would just go a route. So, like, if we were in Bargetown, they would pretty much make a circle where Lexington is, like, the last stop. Because Lexington and Bargetown are so, yeah, they're, that's, like, about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes going down Bluegrass Parkway back to the group home. And they just have a driver. I mean, one of the staff to drive you. But there was also a lot of times, even out of group homes, where, uh, like, I've met people. And I got to know them for a little while. And the people I met kind of like to go on road trips. <laughs> That's good way to get tour Kentucky is it really in group homes that's more than enough if you get to a good group home where you're I mean you and the other kids are allowed to go on passes without bending over backwards 50 times just to earn one Hawkinsville group home. God damn, it was a miracle. And literally August. It was a miracle in August, the snow one. When a kid earned, finally earned like a 24 hour pass or 72 or 48. I mean, it's just. That's why Barstown was better. As long as you didn't fuck up and get grounded, or you just didn't fuck up, you could go on home pass. Mine was a bit of a stipulation. It wasn't a case plan for me and mom to get along. And one of the things was like, I, no matter what, I couldn't get in. Or if when I, and I put this, this is my negotiation of the case plan, plan, which is a basic contract you have to follow to get this or whatever and, and help. Some contracts were, there was one contract that I'm talking about is the contract between me and my mom's relationship. And one of the things I said, well, and I gave a good point. And I said, okay, you know, I know I'm gonna get in trouble here. You know, I'm not going to guarantee you that I'm not going to get in trouble in the future, but it really would help my, me and my mom's relationship if when I got in trouble, I could still go on the home visit that I got put in. Literally, no matter what. Joe does, or, well, no matter what I do, and I get in trouble, does not affect me going on my home visit. Yeah. That was clever wording <clears throat> to get that on. That was actually, holy shit. 
so I could get, I can make a good case to get something put in a contract and it gets put in it. That's where I kind of first realized I was on a start of liking to understanding con contracts. That was fun. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna have, yeah, going through my family left Kentucky for Germany almost after I was. Mm. Yeah. Wait, they were in, they went moved to Germany? <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. So Barry, that's a that's one thing we need to discuss. I know that too because of Swan when she was working at the Coca Cola plants. That's where all of Kentucky shipment goes is to Bowling Green from Mississippi. We get our shipment from also Mississippi. on cocaine in a bottle products. But yeah, I, I really, that's, I mean, I when I go pay rent, I go sign another year's lease. But that's one thing I wanna look in is getting a, an acre of land somewhere. Maybe two, two at the most, really. Oh, oh, yeah. No, yeah, I remember your dad was in the Army, and I forgot. Yeah, you're one of those. You know... From what little I understand, if you were actually, if you're an American citizen, but if like you were born at the embassy in Germany, not only, yes, you're still an American, but it would be kind of difficult getting a birth certificate out of country. Like, you would have to, like, keep the birth certificate. Your parents would have to keep it in pristine, like, pristine condition by the time it was handed over to you. Yeah, there is a train. Tracks, uh... They're over up by West, really, and it runs through or right beside this complex. It's actually not bad. I mean, I live within train distance, but they were more faint than that. The apartment I had on a uh, Broadway in Lexington, Kentucky. That was, oh God, that was the overhead pat train, just like about a half a block away. That was kind of annoying. But then you also had Broadway, which is like a lot of people go through there. Look at the eye. No. The army, look, that's not just, you know, 
that could be any brand, but real uh, army. Yeah, they don't want you to stay in one place too long. Uh, I do know. I don't know fluent German. I just know broken German. You could say. Uh, ich liebe dich. That is, I love you in German. Ich liebe dich. I know nine, which is no. Ja, which is J A, but you, ja, yes. Um, let's see. Scheißkopf. That's the German curse word. I'm pretty sure we all know what it is. My older sister actually speaks German. She took that in high school. And I think, uh, I, don't, I don't remember. I know she went to college, but I don't remember what all classes she took. <coughs> I know one was choir, but... Yeah. One of the best place to be stationed. Well, in a way, I wish my parents would have stayed there. Yeah. But you just got to do, I mean, they, your dad and your fo mom had to do what the government say. But, yeah, um, that's what a lot of people, see, that's the funny thing about Kentucky, Barry, is tour, tourists, we got a lot. That's, like, let's say 2020 never happened. Let's say it's 2017. Um, fuck. My battery's about to die. Yay. There we go. <laughs> I mean, here's here's my theory. Pretty much World War II, we kind of like took back Germany for Germany. <coughs> there we go. So should be back now. Wait, and I was. I accidentally said that around my baby daddy, and he was like, I love you too. What, that the state sucks or suck? Or that wish they stayed for both? Yeah. Mo. Thank you. Yeah, she's with somebody. But yeah, Germany. I mean, they just. That's what that's a lot of tourists we get is like from Germany. We get British and Irish people that come here. Reminds them of home. Of course. I always, you know, 
end up somehow in my 20s finding the foreigner on accident, really, bumming for a cigarette. Yeah, so that's like universal all the way around when you when you know you're trying to like you go hey excuse me can I borrow this and they're like don't even understand you they're like from wherever country they're like uh and, and you get no 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 or uh, yeah I smoked a cigarette from a ray from like I don't know. The guy was Arabic and it had Arabic writing or like on the end. I had a cigarette from Germany. Foreign cigarettes in the UK, they're pretty good, pretty smooth. I I couldn't tell you what brand they fucking were. I just I mean cigarettes a cigarette, fuck yeah. When you haven't had one in about a day or two, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but think of it this way. It's actually a... In other parts of the world... Other countries do watch American U.S. news when they want a good laugh. So, yeah. Like, literally, the only reason why I, when I turn on my TV and it goes to automatically cable, default cable channel is Channel 1 Spectrum News. That just lets me know, okay, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes I do pay attention. Sometimes I really don't care to. But I end up paying attention. I mean, it's just... Our news here is really bullshit. Everything that goes on, it's really bullshit. I mean, yeah, the pandemic happened and all, but it, it's still bullshit. I mean, it's just, it's gonna just, shit's gonna happen. I just don't like how this, I don't see how, like with all this new shit coming up, I don't see how, I don't see hope for the future for the new generation. That's my truth. I right now I do not see hope. Everybody knows their error. Well not everybody, but a lot of people assume that they're cops and just because they were had seen cops in their neighborhood. All sun leader experts. Well, no, no expert of every goddamn Kentucky law, but the basic ones that you need to know and should know, I do know. And I know there's one unspoken rule about human civilization or the humankind in general is don't be a fucking dipshit. Don't be a little shit. That's universal. And it's just, okay, so. More idiots are out here being little shits. I 
And I'm sitting here just wishing it was the 70s again. I mean, yeah, still bullshit in the 70s, but goddamn, at, at least overall, like 90% of society was chilled the fuck out. <sighs> Sixties is where it, where, where uh, is where it's at, really. Well, I mean, yeah, don't be a dipshit. You know, that's like the basic thing. My, I grew up and I grew up around other parents saying, "Don't be a dipshit." You know, I mean, you can be a kid, you can fuck up here and there, but don't be a dipshit. That's like. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know how to really explain right now, but it's just, there's a fine line from, you know, being a kid or being an idiot versus to being a dipshit. Yeah, the eighties, eighties. God damn, that was a great time to be a rocker. Born in seventy, like let's say you were born in seventy three, and oh yeah, you got to see the eighties. Fuck yeah, yeah. Led Zeppelin was hits, doing big hits. ACDC, they were they were some doing some great hits. Let's see, in the 80s, you had uh, Kiss doing all that leather get up. Judas Priest with his doing the leather. That was uh, Prince. Prince, uh, or I mean, not Prince, but he was still doing shows in the 80s. You got Rush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ain't that the fucking truth, Barry? Father time. I mean, I just... See, like, when there's, like, a major trial with the Riddle House guy or the uh, fucking female cop from the get-go that did a mistake George Floyd I mean those are major like cases I will follow where I watched the whole trial of the Riddle House and George Floyd shit it's like a court TV show <coughs> The vibe shit, <coughs> but um, yeah, it's just. I mean, let's just say the Riddle House. I mean, I've seen the footage. We all seen the f- footage that was filmed. But here's what I I'm not on either sides of any of the cases that I fought. I'm not any other sides. I'm neutral on everything. Um, but Riddle House, I would like to see footage before it was filmed. That, I mean, yes, we can lie with eyewitnesses what happened or supposedly happened. The story can change, match up, or someone will see a different point of view. depending on where they were. But it's like, okay, you got some of these fucking humans coming out being little idiots. All right, so now they're burning shit, burning buildings, dumpsters. And you got idiots of all kinds coming out, being dipshits. 
And then you got this one guy. Honestly, he, he could have like done like stop the riots with a less of a way. But I think at the time it was like, yeah. By the way, I'm not on Team Dit shit that started all this. I'm not on Team Kyle who tried. He was, it looked like he was trying to prevent people from doing damage, but there is like another way. There could have been another way without involving a firearm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm pro firearms, you know, and all that stuff. But you, I mean, literally, I mean, yeah, there was some talk about another guy who had a gun, but you could approach, I mean, someone could approach this. And as in the concept, don't bring a gun to a knife fight. Or, well, the original saying is don't bring a knife to a fist fight. You could have, like, try to reason with them somehow. Try to get them to, like, you can do whatever you want. Just don't, you know, set shit on fire. I just... I mean, I'm just tired of seeing footage. Tired of seeing in my scroll feed. I really am tired of seeing in my scroll feed of someone being a dipshit. Logic, laws, regulations. But you don't just pick and choose your time to bend them. It, trying to find a loophole or oh I can you know be on public pro, uh, public property but yet film the prison no you can't do that and justify it or you if it uh, like if you're filming from the sidewalk into somewhere that says private property or it's known to be private property don't film it. Like a lot of people are taking this. Let's film everything. Let's film the world. Or like, if like a, some cops pull over somebody and then you get these good Samaritans, dipshits, that want to film it. Okay, every officer by now has body cams. So, I know you're trying to do something cool, but don't be a dipshit. Don't get involved. Don't even be like one of these idiots that I see in my feed where he literally goes up to a crime scene or a traffic stop or wherever police are, are and he just films them. And they, yeah, they're going to get fucking mad after a while. You're going to look suspicious filming an officer or an area, I mean, if you're coming up, like, inches of, like, where you could, or you're in the crime scene of pulling someone over that, you know, or at a traffic stop, you know, whatever, you do not need to be in it and filming it. Especially don't start the video off where you like literally because it was in a parking lot they must i mean everything was okay they were figuring it out when even when the that uh they were doing a search on a vehicle the license plate matched another description but it was off by one letter or number it was just off by one and it didn't fully register at first with the officer they thought 
there was a miscommunication. But anyways, they were, yeah, they were searching a vehicle. But there's, you see the camera guy going up on, literally walking on outside tables. And when the cop says, you need to back up. And she, he says, this is how it starts off. He, the first words that come out of his mouth is, fuck off. I'm going to punch this dude. I mean, just don't be a dipshit and do all that. You don't need to film every fucking little thing or private property from public areas. No, it doesn't work like that. Like, I'm getting tired of this. There's a lot that I'm getting tired of Facebook feed. Like the cart narc. Okay, you could, like, do that without interactions with people. You could go around to state to state to parking, like, grocery stores or wherever and do it by not making a bigger scene, escalating the situation, making you look nice. No. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just, just because you don't put your cart where it belongs. It's not. I mean, it is a thing, and it that needs to be handled, but it's not, like, a big deal. Like, you don't need to make a big, even big deal out of it. Seeing the hate pain. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the one thing that I see that keeps just coming up with all of that bullshit nonsense today is the com set or the, you know, because I can and the whole. Lack of everything. I mean, it's mainly the concept of because I can. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, this guy's doing it, so can I. Oh, that guy's doing it, so can I. All right, be safe, Swan. You go watch people in their sleep at a hospital. You do it well. Next time, invite me. Well, you know, you got to think about what if I want to watch people in their sleep at a hospital. Yeah, I do amaze myself sometimes. But it's it's just a lot of people aren't really picking and choosing. I mean, you would rather make a big deal over something so small as a single drop of spilt milk. You want to make it a big deal as fast as you can and soon as you can. Yeah, I'm going to end it, too, as well. Be safe, Barry and Swan. Sorry, kind of a different turn. We tried to cook in a Wellington with using bacon, beefsteak, and chicken breast. You can go see how that did not go so well. Um, we're going to eat it at the rest after or off camera. So I'm Jep and this is a cooking story with Jep Jefferson. So y'all be safe and fuck off. Bye. <laughs>